my my brain went straight into gog mode which is like i'll be on the gog com channel and i'll be like oh you know very 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 um uh what is it very very influencer like in my brain or mindset so i'm very much so talking about um Yeah, the Witcher's director's cut is really excellent as well. Like the entire series, favorite phrase for uh, the Witcher is pretty good too. Like it's all just all of them from the first to the last one are all just great games. And Legend of Keepers again, that one was also directly from the developers. Uh, Out of Line was from the developers. Um, the only ones here, which is this one here included, uh, our type. Uh, Final 2 and Battle Axe are from Gaga.com. Which version is it? Director's Cut is kind of, kind of like the game. It's kind of like a Game of the Year edition. But it's, um, it just has all the little bits and pieces that weren't initially in the game when its first launch came in there and he kind of slot like just kind of cut it in there and went you know every little nook and cranny all right let's hear and begin now as i've been told infinite mode is a lot like gauntlet but then i'm going to stick to arcade here So you're gonna have different choices, of different characters here. We're gonna pick uh, Faye here. She has a lot of trouble though with the first boss in this one. Ready sets like eyeballing the hell out of this game too. spawner real quick. There we go. Has found a there we go. Monster just is fucked off. He's like, ah, that with it. Uh, not necessarily. It's more like this right here is more static. At least arcade mode is, so uh, what you're seeing here is going to be definitely, like, everything you're going to see here is what you're going to see in your playthrough, so it's... The only thing I saw that was the rogue light is uh, some of the rescue dead characters you get here. Like some of the townsfolk. Like that much I can tell you off the top of my head what I do know. Yeah, because all these characters right here are all static. Or at least uh, this level is static. Thank you, thank you. Yep, just a uh, straight up arcade slasher. Like basically like Gauntlet, but with some different approaches to certain things. Alright. 
All right, that's taken care of. Ah, man, I should have backed up and played more carefully. Kind of cheese it. really cool game overall like the only thing i wish they had was an online co-op but i mean that again probably right now it's not going to be a thing you can probably on steam easily just again just find somebody to play with or play with your buddies online let's do the remote chair play Where am I going? Up here. Okay, cool. Okay. You hold down the B button, you can go like that. Okay, same thing with uh, the ability, like attacks in general. Cool, cool. There it is. Dang it, I bet that press the frickin' Okay. And don't say. He needs food. Well, I can tell by that one HP there. Battle axe. Time to put an end to it, Mildred. Stage one. Battle above the clouds. Again, he's pretty powerful in terms of his uh, range attacks. Back up a bit.
I can't remember the top of my head. Thank you. Extra healthy. Yeah, I was like trying to think of my head just now. I was like, I couldn't remember. Thank you. I was not taking no chances with him. <laughs> I was just blasting this corner here as much as I could. How you doing, Cask? Uh, no worries at all. No worries at all. Like, I thought Clan was pretty awesome. Um, Like, when I was initially playing it, like, I loved what the elements of it reminded me of. Like, it had, like, that... Um, the Lost Vikings vibe to it. It had that Trine vibe to it. Um, I'm trying to think if I had any, any critiques or feedback otherwise. Like, I'm trying to think of my head, and it's like, now it's escaping me, but... Like, the tutorial bits I thought were pretty cool. Like, if, you know, the optional uh, suggestions. Like, for example, uh, what's his name there? Um, big guy big guy charges up his arm. I'm horrible at names. I literally will forget a, a name within 30 minutes. Um, like, when you do the butt slam, initially it tells you... Yep, Haggish. Thank you, thank you. With Haggish... Um, Whenever you do like the butt slam, when it tells you to do the butt slam, like when I was doing that part right there, I was able to just go and just slam my fist down as opposed to the uh, butt slam and just get through easily. So like my only feedback with that is I kind of tell the gamer, okay, you can just slam down or do the butt slam with that part. Because it was sort of like I just, at first my brain wasn't, you know, clicking into the, the butt slam part. I just went, oh, slam down. I was able to get through. I was like, hmm. <laughs> But it was kind of like it just worked either way. It was pretty cool. Greetings, Draconic Dude. Welcome back in. Yeah, like it was like, I love the game overall. And, and again, no worries at all. The, the the pleasure is all mine. Like I really enjoyed starting it off with that. It was. Yeah, because at first I was going to do the butt slam, but I wasn't doing it right myself. So I was like, wait a minute. So I went, boom. It slammed downwards, and I was like, "Oh, I'll just do that now." <laughs> I mean, it makes more it makes better sense if like you're doing like a chase scene or something like that to do the butt slam because you'll get through a lot quicker. But okay. No worries, no worries, Cass, no worries. Like, again, I enjoyed playing it quite a bit, though. Just uh, starting off straight with that, it was really fun. So, again, thank you again, as always, as as I would say, uh, for providing the code and let me have an opportunity to play it. It was really fun. Yeah, Battle Axe, it's, it's very hard. Like, especially with, um, with Faye there. At least with the boss, anyway. Like, everything else, you can take out enemies, no problem. But, ah, my throat goes out for a second there. Um, like visually, I thought Clan was awesome. Like it looked visually great, but there, yeah, there's no sound at all in certain spots. It's like, hmm. 
I thought there would be like music, like a little bit of like a thing going in the background. Um, yeah, from what I've gathered. It's not on God yet. Um, as far as I can tell, like I haven't, like I can't tell you anyway if I start on anything at all. So, but because I'm, I'm under oath for God at least not to say anything. But just a rough boss. Very rough boss. There we go. We did it. We finally beat him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was... Like, Clan's music was on point. Like, I was loving it. Can I sell you something? Mm-hmm. No, oh, thank you. Thank you. See ya. I got Melic Magic. See ya. Two, the Forgotten Minds. Okay, these enemies look awesome. Yep. Reminds me a lot, uh, what the hell's that one called there? I'll have to pull it out here in a second. To show you what I'm talking about. Uh, that's a good question. Like, when I was playing this, I was actually originally looking for some way to kind of adjust the analog stick to allow me to kind of aim shoot. Like, that was something I'd wish they could have added to this one. Um, Because that's, like, one of my other put-offs by uh, Dandy Ace and a few other of these uh, type of games. Where, yes, I mean, even Gauntlet, you aim shot, where you kind of aimed your character in a certain direction, you just shot your, you know, you threw your axe through a spell, through an arrow. And, you know, that was all hunky-dory, but for myself, like, with games like this, it's, I feel like it's always been just crucial to allow that analog aim, so you can aim your character a certain direction if you have to, to kind of go, you know, throw your projectile. That could have been nice. Like, it's not the end of the world for me, but it's, would have been a nice feature. Because you have to kind of go like this, hold down the button, and then go like that. So you gotta go like this. Holding down like B or whatever. Let me see if Mouse does it. Hold on. 
Okay, nope. Like some sort of, not actually like for like a cursor aim or anything, but. It's kind of like something I can kind of use the right analog stick and move my character in a certain direction to shoot if I'm using the uh, ranged attacks. Because I mean, I'll expect my hand to be completely held with that part. Yeah, that'd be like the, that'd be like the, the icing on the cake with this one, just just the uh, dual shock movement. But I'm much more accurate with a dual stick. Like aim shooting, I'm not too bad with, but then it kind of screws me up a little bit. Like, oops. no, you know what? That was that was itchy uh, tentacle. So take that. All right. Oh man, that was okay. It turns me right. And just like that. Yeah, like I wish they would add include. Try infinite mode. Hey, we'll try Allo. Thank you, Possum Coffee, for that tier one subscription. You're amazing. Oh crap! Everything's attacking me. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Yep, this right here is infinite mode. It's kind of like gauntlet, basically. Thanks. Like, this is like really ties into that gauntlet vibe everyone was kind of feeling. Oh, thank you. Thank you again. Hope work is going well for you. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> really name it Shagaroth. <laughs> I see what they did there. The bad god himself. This part right here, I believe, is the roguelike. Here's the exit. Stage clear. Rank C. Oh, sh. Oh, seagulls. Also, kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors.
like, I guess you have to rescue everybody? Like, that might be the objective, or you just gotta get through it, I don't know. asking for help, I couldn't tell. Frankie! But not too bad so far, 